Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I really appreciate all the views on this video, TTGO, T Display Board, here we go again. But I also really love this comment from Max Smoke. He's talking about there's an image converter that he found basically by going through the code in the demo sketch for TTGO. And he says, I should make a video about it. I think you're going to want to check out Max Smoke's YouTube channel. You can see I'm subscribed. He's got some interesting stuff going on here. Looks like a lot around Oculus and some other cool stuff. And of course, he's tipped me off about rinkydinkelectronics.com, the image converter. And basically, I'm going to demonstrate converting an image. One of the important things is the TTGO T-Display that OLED display is 240 by 135, so you have to resize your images before you go to convert them. So I've already done that, and now I'm going to make this file. Okay, and now I can download it. Now our friend Max Smoke says, make sure to rename it from C to H. Yes, we want to do that. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy that into your program folder. So in here, I'm in my Arduino folder. Here's the TTGO T-Display demo. You can see it's got the default that comes with it, this BMP.h file. And that's the TTGO logo that flashes on the default TTGO T-Display INO. But what we're going to do is we're going to add... These includes, and I'm going to overwrite that, okay, and then we want to make sure we have those files in that TTGO folder. So I've converted both of those and renamed them from .c to .h, and then I'm copying them into the same folder as the TTGO T-Display INO. Now, if we save this, I'm going to close it and reopen it, we can see those images are tabbed in the program as well. We would have had to have deleted that other file from the folder. It's not in the includes, but somehow it stays with it anyway. So let's talk about some of the other modifications I did to this program. All I wanted to do was demonstrate my own custom images on the TTGO T-Display as quickly as possible by utilizing this existing demo. So one of the first things you notice here is they're setting the screen rotation to one and so that's in play when it comes down here you see that's the name of the file that I want to display right there and it's rotated one way if we go back to the original image now let's go back to the original image and see how it's rotated there yeah you can see the Shotoku Tech backdrop is rotated on a landscape whereas the Shotoku Tech statue is a portrait. So that was one of the things that I had to modify or I had to get my head around was set rotation one was good for the landscape mode but then I had to add a set rotation zero to handle the portrait mode and you can see I reverted the 240 by 135 in this statement. So those were all the mods I made in the code. I added the includes here. And then when you go to display that image, you just use the prefix. You don't include the dot H. And you see that down here. Just the prefix of the file name. Same thing there. And now we're going to go ahead and send it. We'll go ahead. I'm plugging in my TTGO T-Display board. Let's see what COM port we're on. On port 4 and we'll just go ahead and upload that while we're at it I've made this uh, it's a real simple TTGO T-Display case it, it's big enough to hold this 1000 mAh battery inside and then the TTGO T-Display sits on top and then it's got a cover that you can screw down on it. You can push the buttons from the outside. Got access to the uh, USB-C port there. And you also have access to the reset button. So look for the link down below 
to my Thingiverse page and you can grab this case for your TTGO T display if you like. Okay, so we see it's uploaded. So you see rotation one for the Shotoku tech backdrop and then rotation zero for the portrait of Prince Shotoku. And then the program runs on just doing what it was gonna do. So thanks again to Max Smoke for his comment on my video, TTGO T display board, here we go again. Make sure to check out Max Smoke's YouTube channel. You can support Rinky Dink Electronics by donating here. They're happy to have you utilize their software. And you can even download it for a particular platform if you like. And if you like, check out my TTGO T display playlist. Click up here to subscribe. Make sure to like and check out the links down below. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.